Over the past few sessions in the video, in the various videos that I've been doing, they've been a bit negative sounding in a way. I want people to catch the vision. It's about like when David, David just said to Nathan, it was Nathan, wasn't it? Nathan, um, I'm going to be building the house of the Lord. And originally the prophet said, yeah, fine. Then he came back later on because the Lord had spoken to him. And I really think, you know, after all the negative things I've been saying, that pastors are not in charge. There's nothing in the Bible about pastors being in, the char in charge. Or, or apostles or anyone, any single solo ministry. There's nothing about that. The only thing that's in the Bible is about priests joined together on the equivalent of poles, which is now the Holy Spirit, commissionings, joined together in the Spirit to see things burst, see the next thing happen. But this is what the Lord is really saying. You shall not build me a house. For generations, England have built stone buildings and people have been able to come and meet and hear the word of the Lord. But there have been pastor synagogues, there have been rabbi synagogues, called by different names, priests, vicars, whatever. That's what they've been, Old Covenant, Old Testament rabbi synagogues. Jesus was always very clear in the New Testament about what the ecclesia, the church was. So this is what he says. He says, no, I will build you all a house. You have your idea of church. Sit down. I will build across the nations a house for you all. And you're going to be very comfortable in it. Tabernacles is a place in the spirit. It's a place of substance. We see it all spelt out for us in the Holy of Holies. This is something that God is building inside our heart. So this is what the Lord says. Do you want to be part of tabernacles? Will you let me excavate your being? Will you obey me? Every word that I speak to your ear by the Holy Spirit. Will you just do the next thing tomorrow that I tell you to do? Will you Go the extra mile, adding into your life the commands that I'm giving you so that you have to scurry sometimes to try and fit in what I am saying to you in the second mile while you live your normal life. Are you prepared for that substance to be engineered in your being? For I want to catch you up into my house. I want you to be built into my house. It's not you building me a house. It's not you evangelists running around like headless chickens trying to match up like a database, like a, like a, like a, a marriage guidance bureau or a, a, an agency online trying to squeeze people together with me. Listen to me in these days, says the Lord. Evangelists, listen like you've never listened before. I am using you to find my bride. I said I'm using you to find my bride, to go out into the highways and byways. If the religious people will not have the tabernacle heart built into them, then you must choose to go out and find my bride.
says the Lord, in all the nations of the earth. You must travel. You must go. You must on f- go on foot. You must drive in cars. You must fly. You must find my bride, says the Lord. It is me building my house in your hearts, in the substance of your hearts, as each of you obey me daily. This is a worship in the foundation of your being. This is the worship that I spelt out, and you must hear in Romans 12, 1. These things being so, what things? All the rest of the teaching in Romans being so, give me your body. Alexa, stop. Give me your bodies. Let me build for you a house. Amen.